The rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. The rumor that I'm terrible at vlogging is completely true. The people that do this every day, I don't understand. Between writing and shooting and editing and posting and promoting this, it takes the whole day. I don't have time. I'm doing adult things. Not adult things, just other... <sighs> I've been at my internship where I am terrible at answering phones. And a real situation last week that went like this. Ring ring, oh blah 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 productions. Hey, it's Bill something trying to talk to producer whoever so and so. Obviously he didn't really say Bill something. Oh hey Bill, let me see if he's available. Hey producer so and so, I've got Bill something on the phone. Only I really did say Bill something. And then my boss did the whole I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed thing, which is so much worse. I'm terrible at keeping my own secrets. I was gonna hold the release date of my new short film, The October Crisis, secret until it was actually that day, and then be like, oh, The October Crisis, we finally have a release date, it's today, and then drop it. But it's not today. It's out there now, and it'll be available online to the public May 30th. Yay! There's a couple things that I'm actually really good at. I'm really good at overreacting to mundane things on CBS television shows. Here I am getting overly excited at the prices right last year. And here I am dancing so hard that my glasses flew off my face and through the auditorium at Craig Ferguson last week. I'm also pretty good at interviewing for jobs while wearing blue jeans apparently. Because I did that again and I got a second internship. So now I'm also working at John Shestack Productions where I've become actually really good at answering phones really quick since I'm their phone guy so I'm doing it all the time. But I'm terrible at jobs that pay you in money. For some reason, I can't find one of those. So you should hire me. You probably won't regret it. I'm also relatively terrible at vlogging. I know that because this week I've been watching a lot of my favorite vloggers, John and Hank Green, Jenna Marbles, uh, Hannah Hardo, and The Return of Zay Frank, and I've noticed a lot of things that I'm just not doing right. I haven't been bouncing around in space enough, but hopefully I'm improving on that. I blink too much and look away from the camera and say things like like and um. But I'm trying to not do that anymore. I go on for way too long, so from now on we're stealing the Vlogbrothers rule and keeping all the videos under four minutes. And if I go over four minutes, then you guys can think up something terrible that I have to do as some sort of YouTube punishment. I don't get you guys involved enough in the comments, so this week in the comments, tell me how I can be a better blogger. It can be things you want me to discuss, or questions you want to ask me, or just things you would like to see on the show, or just suggestions on how I can be less terrible at this. I will reply to every single one. Judging by our view and comment counts, that's probably going to be like three. Jump cut. Now my shirt is unbuttoned. Rocking the blue plaid button-up open over the light-colored t-shirt, which I did for three years growing up in the 90s. Throwing it back to the old school. Maybe I should do a whole episode about what it's like growing up in the 90s, because that'll get 100,000 viewers, because everyone likes to talk about what it was like to grow up in the 90s. We can talk about our favorite Nickelodeon cartoons and things hidden inside Disney movies. Oh wait, those are my least two favorite conversations of all time. Whenever new people meet, that's all that anybody wants to talk about. Seriously, see if you can go this week without anyone bringing up Doug or words hidden in the grass in The Lion King. You can't do it, because I just did! Okay, fine, talk about Nick shows and subliminal messages in Disney movies down in the comments, because I know you're gonna do it anyway. I leave you with this series of pictures from last night's American Horror Story Emmy event which I had the pleasure of going to and seeing every single cast member, including Jessica Lange and Zachary Quinto, except for Thaisa Farmiga, who I went there to see because I'm going to marry her. Let's just turn this whole vlog into my journey trying to marry her, because then we sort of have a direction. We've got something to focus on. Hey, remember to click up here to subscribe to my channel. I'm really going to be making new videos every week, I promise. And I don't have anything to make you watch over here, so this will just be wiggly arm space for today. I love you guys, and I will see you next week. Go Galatis. You want some, you want some juice?